laboratory organization laboratory organization includes planning the architecture of the lab laboratory safety and maintenance of chemicals and instruments in the laboratory planning the architecture of the lab the lab should be spacious and it can be separate as preparation area working area and washing area in the preparation area the chemical solutions stacking gels and microbial cultures are prepared for the experiments depending on the nature of the work we need different working area the transformation inoculations and cloning experiments are performed in the laminar air flow chamber and the phase analysis are performed in the separate working area washing facilities are basic necessary for all kind of laboratory the lab should contain the cupboards and lockers to maintain the important files and records and to arrange the chemicals in proper way for easy identification the environmental condition optimal atmospheric condition is necessary for plant growth in plant physiculture lab the cultures are incubated under well controlled light temperature humidity and air circulation the light control system will provide the diffused light and darkness for plant growth in plant physiculture lab the light is adjusted under photosynthetic period by using the automatic clock the culture room should contain the air conditioners and temperature control system to provide the optimal condition of temperature generally temperature is maintained at 25 plus or minus 2 degree celsius and 20 to 98 percentage of relative humidity with uniform air ventilation laboratory safety the maintenance of first aid box in the laboratory should avoid the dangerous situations at the time of minor accidents in the laboratory all workers in the lab should know the location of first aid box and know how to use its contents the lab should maintain the bucket of sand and sack and fire extinguishers to prevent the dangerous fire accidents the lab coat and hand gloves are mandatory for the lab whenever working with the carcinogenic chemicals and neurotoxic chemicals wear the latex gloves the hazardous chemicals and dangerous solvents are handled only in the fume hood the organic solvents mutagenic compounds mercury compounds and halogens are located in separate place to prevent the cross reactions between them maintenance of the laboratory the lab should maintain the user's entry register with proper information about the user the equipments like test tube glass pipettes crystal and mortar micro pipettes are arranged in proper place for easy identification and replacement of equipments is important first arrange the necessary things in the working area before start the experiment and to keep the working area as clean with proper arrangement of the things disposal facilities are important to discard the contaminated micro tips and append of tubes in proper way maintenance of the chemicals the chemicals and solutions are arranged in alphabetical order for easy identification after the usage of chemicals proper replacement is important after the preparation of chemicals labeling is important which include name of the chemical name of the worker preparation date expiry date and concentration of the chemical the isolated dna rna protein and enzyme samples are stored in freezer at 4 degree celsius and the photosensitive chemicals and leaf samples are stored in the refrigerator maintenance of the instruments in the laboratory the lab should maintain the up to date information and records about each instrument in the lab and also their user manuals
after the usage of instrument cleaning is important first switch off the instrument and then clean the instrument in proper way handle the instrument with care power supply is essential for each lab instrument each instrument in the lab should be located at appropriate places with proper power supply